Oh, we're going. Right, okay. Question six. William is making the bridesmaids' dresses and paid by outfits for his sister's wedding. What a nice guy. They expect it to take 20 hours. Blah, blah, blah. You can read it yourself. William's sister wants to have at least one bridesmaid and at least one agey boy. William has 100 hours available and must not spend more than £600 in total. He could just pocket the money and make them wear the normal clothes. I would do that. Right, let X denote the number of bridesmaids' dresses and Y denote the number of page boy dresses. Uh, show that, hang on, I haven't read that right. right. Show why the constraint 4X plus 3Y is less than equal to 20 is needed. So, in order to answer this question, oh, hang on, I'll do it down here. In order to answer this, um, we need to, we, we can't just derive it, we need to say where it's coming from. So, we need to use some description of where we arrive at this from. That constraint is about time, Emmy. <laughs> you just wanted your name to be on the video, didn't you? And now you don't do it again. <laughs> what is she doing? She's putting a pen in front of the video. Oh. I'm making a draw on your head. <laughs> okay, we, we don't have enough time for this. We don't have enough time for this, right. So the time for making is the time. <laughs> yeah. uh, right, 20 X. Plus 15y, and the time available is 100. And then if we divide everything by 5, you get exactly what you're supposed to get. 4x plus 3y is less than equal to 20. Notice that you don't get the mark unless you've actually written that it comes from the time constraint, because it says explain where it comes from. So it's not enough just to write that down and then write that down. You need to say where it comes from as well. The second bit was about fabric and materials. That was the other constraint that we got. And uh, the question says, the fabric is eight pounds per meter, um, and there are additional items. So we've got eight pounds per meter, um, and then there is eight X plus three Y, because that's, is um, the number each bridesmaid dress uses eight meters of fabric, the page boy uses three, so that's eight plus three times eight because it's eight pound per meter. And then we have 35 for each additional bridesmaid dress and 80 pounds for each page boy outfit. And all of that cost is going to be less than 600. So that's the full working out for the other constraint, which I think you got for just being like that. Or did you have to simplify it? No, you did have to simplify it. If you then collect like terms together, you get 99x plus 104y is less than 600, which, um, there we go, that, that was that. And, of course, um, he needs a, she needs at least one. This is where some people put in a non-negativity constraint, but notice um, she wants to have at least one bridesmaid and at least one page boy. So X and Y have both got to be <coughs> greater than or equal to one. That was the fear Y. So that was that was just a little bit. That was a bit sneaky at the end, wasn't it? Because we're so used to that being non-negativity constraints that quite a few of us missed that they had to be one and not zero for that. Then draw the graph. Do I, do I have to draw the graph? Uh, I'll draw the graph, it's all right. So we're drawing, there it is. We're drawing the graph. Um, I might if I can make that a bit, there we go, work. So uh, what have we got? We've got four X plus three Y is less than or equal to 20. Uh, so, uh, if we think about where that crosses the axes, if x is 0, y is 20 over 3, that's 6 and 2 thirds. And if, if uh, y is 0, x is 5. So we're joining 6 and 2 thirds, which is about there, isn't it? Oh, hang on. Oh, man. Um, yeah, down there. Uh, be careful to, to not mix up your X's and Y's. 
That is 4x plus 3y less than or equal to 20. Uh, the point 1, 1 satisfies that, so we're shading the other side of that line. There it is all shaded. Uh, the other one, 99x plus 104y is less than or equal to 600. Now, if x is equal to 0, well, well, actually, either way, this gives you an answer just either side of 6, doesn't it? If x is equal to 0, y is just less than 6. If y is equal to 0, x is slightly over 6. So we're joining up a line from just less than 6, oh dear, there, to just more than 6. It looks a bit like that. So that's the other constraint. That one is the 99x plus 104y plus 600. And we've got the 1 constraints as well. So there's my line through y equals 1. There's my line that completely missed x equals 1. There it is. And there it is. And I'm going to finish the shading off. So we've got that bit all shaded in. We've got all of that shaded in underneath. There's the feasible region, and they, they didn't give them any marks for doing all of that work, but there's only four marks for all of that on there. Uh, the feasible region indicated in some way either by shading it in or not shading it in. So they didn't mind whether you... We've always shaded the reject region, haven't we? And left the accept region as blank. But they didn't mind either way. Then, use your graph to find... Uh, William's sister wants to maximise the total number of attendants at her wedding. Use your graph to find the maximum number of attendants. Um, I, I did this far more complicated. <coughs> it's only one mark again, isn't it? And so I, I wrote down all the possibilities. I said we could have x is 1, y is 4. We think about the possibility of integer solutions. That's not an integer solution. That's an integer solution there. Uh, 2 and 3 is an integer solution, 3 and 2, and 4 and 1, but, but that's it, those four solutions there, all give us an answer of 5. So the answer for part 3 is 5, they are the, the integer solutions, yes, Alex? Why don't you take the 1, 1, do you not have to show that it's, you know? The 1, 1? Well, the 1, 1 is a solution as well, as is 2, 2. But it's not maximum. But it's not maximum. We're looking for the biggest number, aren't we? I thought you took all the things on the edges. Like, why do you do The corners. Well, yeah, but, but again, it's about context. And so this <coughs> one, these are page boys and bridesmaids. So we, it's clear that they have to be integer solutions. Yeah, but I mean, I thought we took them from the corners, like 1, 1, two. Yeah, but... But that, that corner isn't an integer, that corner isn't an integer, neither is that one. Yeah, that's close to it. And that one is a minimum. We're looking to maximise it. I know, this far, they gave you a lot of space, and for only a one mark in this question, uh, I think they've given you way too much space because it was misleading. The amount of space you were given led you to believe you had to do more work than just write down the number five, but that was all that they wanted out of it. And finally, William costs his time at £15 now. Yes, sir. This is um, your, your graph, so can you get a mark for your graph um, of your graph? You, you can, but it was only... You, could got, you got a special case if 0, 6, 1, 5 or 2, 4 were included as feasible points on your graph. Because that would give you an answer of six, wouldn't it? Otherwise, you'd get an answer of five. If your graph didn't give any sense of answers, really, then that, that was the only follow through mark that was available. Um, final part said William costs his time at £15 an hour. Find and simplify an expression in terms of x and y for the total cost for all the materials of William's time. Hence, find and interpret the minimum cost solution to part three. I actually, I've given myself a little bit of an advantage here by marking these integer points that all gave us an answer of 5. 
as we'll see in a moment with this. So, as we do that, that last bit, we're saying here that the dress is 15 pounds um, times 20. Um, because it's 20 hours for each bridesmaid's dress and 15 pounds an hour and the page boy outfit I just wrote page there it, that's 15 times 15 because it's 15 pounds for each page boy outfit so that's each page boy is 225 pounds so that's the cost of each bridesmaid's dress and each page boy once you take into account the time at £15 an hour. So the total cost we've already got the fabric and material cost haven't we which is 99x plus 104y and we're adding to that 300x for the dressmaking time and 225y for the page boy time, giving a total costing equation of 300, that's a 3, 399x plus 329y. That's our total costing amount. And we want that to be a minimum. And we've recognised from part three <coughs> that we have four solutions that give five costumes, for want of a better word. And those, those four solutions are the points 1, 4, 2, 3, 3, 2, and 4, 1. So for each of these, I'm going to work out the cost. And I'm going to choose the minimum one. So that's summing those numbers into that equation gives me 1715, 1785, 1855 and 1925. Of course you could recognise that because x is a much bigger coefficient than y then it's always going to be that that's going to be the best one because that's the one with x as the smallest value. So you could probably justify that by just looking at one of them. You could. Um, and there we go. So that is one minimum cost is 1715 with one Bridesmaid and four page points. Is page point all one minute? Yes. There we go. It's quite a lot of work, isn't it? And that was that. That's that's math. Smile. Yeah, okay. Bye.